Hello, this is Matthew from COP Technical Support, and in today's quick video, I'm just going to be showing you how to set up a Hike Vision decoder using the decoder's web interface. I'm using a 6901 decoder, which means it has one of each output on the actual device. So it has one BNC output, one VGA output, and one HDMI output. The first thing we need to do once we're logged in, we need to go up to a video wall configuration and tell the system where our monitors are. So at the moment, by default, it's just got it in a large four by four, but I only have two monitors. I have one row and two columns, which puts the monitors next to each other. If you had a monitor above and below, you'd swap those around two for one, for example. My left monitor is plugged into the decoder using a HDMI lead. My right monitor is plugged into the coder using a BNC lead. No need to save this page. This will stay as is. So now we head over to video wall. At the moment, we've got no sources here on the left hand side. So depending on how your cameras are added to your recorder setup, if it's a DVR, NVR, or if the cameras are just network facing, there's a couple of different ways that we can do this. So first of all, if we say our cameras are network facing and we only want to display certain cameras, so we're not going to add all of them in. Well, I'm going to say device name is camera one. Camera IP address. Port, username and password. We want to grab the mainstream of the camera. Now, if your recorder has stream encryption turned on, or if your camera has encryption turned on, you need to hit the encrypt stream toggle and enter your encryption key. Mine doesn't, so no need. Now, area name, this is purely a grouping within the decoder. So this is just going to be a camera direct. So I'm just gonna call this camera group. Now we'll hit the little save icon and that'll go up. Channel number. It's only a single channel camera. It isn't a pan of view camera. It's not a fish eye with multiple lenses. It's a single lens camera. So one channel. Next, select the singular channel and okay. We can see now that on the left hand side below camera group, our area name, we have our camera. What I'm going to do as well is I'm going to add my second camera. So same story, camera two, new IP address. Let me fill out the rest of the details as required. That's going into camera group, so we need to change. Channel number is one. Next, select the channel and OK. So now we've got both cameras. So what if our cameras are on the back of an NVR's plug and play ports and we need to add the recorder in? Well, there's a bit of a gimmick to that side of the system. So let's go through that now. So if we go to add IP, uh, we'll call this NVR, uh, NVR's IP address, port and other details. I'm gonna change the group so it goes elsewhere within the decoder. And what we're going to enter for channel number is I'm going to say there's 64 channels. And the reason for that is that when you add an NVR, it can reserve a number of channels thinking that it has analog channels. So what I'll do is I'll add channels one and two, uh, but then I'll also add channels 33 and 34. Now on the recorder itself, my cameras are channel one and two. You can see those have imported over here. So we'll grab channel one, drag that over, give it a right click and go to coding status. And you see that hasn't connected. That's not doing anything. If we close that off and grab 33, and do the same. We can see that has connected and is decoding. So what's happened here in this instance is the decoder speaking to the recorder has gone, you have 32 reserved channels for analog inputs. So for this recorder, channel one is 33, channel two is 34 and so on. 
And that's how we add that in. But now we've got our cameras isolated. We know where they are. Let's delete the two we don't need. And get down to the layout. So my HDMI monitor, the one on the left, I want to display both cameras. So I can't change the screen split yet. There has to be a camera already in the image. So we're going to go camera one drop it in, left click the image so it gets highlighted in that red border and then we can change the screen split. So I can put camera 1 and the camera 2 in. Then my BNC output I only want to display camera 2. So again I can grab from the other group if I wanted to, this could be any camera across the system, and we drop that in. Now, obviously, if we had more cameras, we could add them further. We could increase the screen splits. The 6901 supports up to a 16 way split, but we can't set it at the moment because we've already got two there. So this one supports 16 in total. But that's it in a nutshell. Thank you very much for watching today.